For this assignment, we're going to be creating a party invitation with Google Docs. So I'll go ahead and open up Google Docs and start a blank document. And then one thing I want to do is you want to have various font types. So go ahead and choose a font type that you like. Okay, and then we also want to have uh, various font sizes. So I'm going to choose a larger font for my invitation. And also we can change the font color. So we'll want to have various colors on the font. So I'm going to do orange for Halloween. So I can go ahead and type in here. All right. Now if I decide that that text is a little too small, I want it bigger, I can highlight it. And I can go in and make it a larger size. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so I've changed my font style, I've changed my size, I've changed my color. Um, we also want to go ahead and center the text so you can highlight it and then with Google, Google Docs you do Control Shift E and that will center it. Control Shift and E. Okay next I want to um, have some more text, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to change this to a different font and make this smaller. Maybe I'll use a different color here, maybe a purple. It's another good Halloween color. Okay, and then maybe I want to um, use some italics in here, okay? So we've got italics here, we've got various font sizes and colors and styles. Um, and then we also want to use, uh, we want to align some of our text to the left. So I will go ahead and do the next part, align to the left. And let's go ahead and have a bulleted list on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and enter down. I'm going to align to the left. Now, if you want to align to the left, you can do Control Shift L. That'll bring you over to the left side. Um, so let's change this to maybe another color. We'll just go for black here. Okay, and then you will need a bulleted list. So I'm going to enter down here, and then to get a bulleted list, I've got these dots here. If you don't have them, you might have to click on the three dots to get more options in your menu. But we can do Control Shift 8, or you can click on this to bring your bullets up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some activities that are going to be at the party. Uh, let's see if I can spell that correctly. There we go. And then haunted room. And okay, so I've got most of my invitation. Let's put a date here. Okay. All right, so I've gotten all of that so far included. I've got most of the requirements for the assignment. I just need to have um, a picture and I need an underline somewhere. So let's let's do let's insert a picture and we can grab let's see we'll go insert image search the web Halloween Let's see. Maybe I'll pick this one. And let's see where that puts it. Okay. So that makes it way too big. Okay. I don't want it there. So let's shrink this down. See if this fixes our problem. There we go. And what we can do now is I'll just put the address on here as well. So we'll go below. No. I'm going to shrink this up. Let's see if we can get this all on the same page. Okay, so I'm going to center this. Remember Control Shift E will center it. And then I'm going to say where the party is going to be at. Okay, and then I'm maybe 
I'll have it underlined. So control U to underline. Okay, so there I've got everything needed. So all 10 items that required. I've got different font types here, different font sizes, font colors. I've got centered text here. I've got left aligned text here. I've got a bulleted list. Do I have any bold? No, this is bold, I believe. No, it's not. Let's bold it. Hit control B, we'll bold that. Okay, and maybe I'll bold this too so it stands out a little more. Okay, and then we've got italics here, and I've got underline down here. Um, and then I've got my picture, so all 10 items are included. Let's see if I can zoom out a little bit so it's easier to see. So this is what the final one looks like. And then submit it once you're done in Canvas.